So let's take a look here. Number one says we've got a zinc metal put in a beaker with hydrochloric acid. We're probably going to need the balanced chemical equation, so let's just write it out now. So zinc plus hydrochloric acid, this is a single replacement reaction. You're going to kick out hydrogen gas and form zinc chloride. You need to put a 2 in front of HCl, and now it's balanced, okay? It says the volume of hydrogen gas formed is measured by water displacement in a udometer every 30 seconds. The volume is converted to STP conditions and recorded. Okay, so here is the volume of hydrogen gas, and then here is the corresponding time. Determine the average rate of consumption of zinc metal over the entire 150 seconds in grams per minute. So you can't do that unless you calculate the milliliters per second of the hydrogen first, because that's all I have the data for, okay? So what you're gonna do is figure it out over the entire time period. So we've got 25 over 150, right? And that's because this is zero. So we're gonna be using our initial and our final data points. So we, I don't have much room here, so I'm just gonna write it here, 25, milliliters of H2 over 150 seconds. Since they want us to convert to grams per minute, I'm going to convert seconds over to minutes first because that's the easiest. There are 60 seconds in a minute. That will allow me to cancel seconds. Since we're at STP, you know that we can use one mole equals 22.4 liters. I need to convert milliliters into liters. So that means this is a one-step metric conversion. So now milliliters is canceled. Now use 22.4 to give us moles of H2. Now you can convert over to zinc. In our balanced equation, you've got a 1 in front of H2 and a 1 in front of zinc. So this is a 1 to 1 mole ratio. And then they want us to solve for grams. So you're going to multiply by the molar mass of zinc, which is 65.38. And this is going to be point zero two nine two grams per minute. And then generally speaking, the reaction rate will probably be the greatest at the beginning because that's when you have the most amount of reactants present. So if you take a look at the data table, as you're going from zero to 30 seconds, we're producing 15 milliliters of hydrogen gas. 30 to 60 seconds, you're producing much less, right? Six milliliters. 60 to 90 seconds, you're producing three milliliters. So you can see how this is progressively going down and then it doesn't change at all at the very end. Okay, so the reaction rate is the greatest between zero and 30 seconds. The end of this reaction, there's a little bit of zinc left in the beaker. What that means is between the zinc and the hydrochloric acid, since the hydrochloric acid is completely consumed, the HCl is going to be your limiting reactant. Because whatever is in excess, that is what you're left over with. So the zinc is in excess. Okay? Okay, do you want me to do another one similar to that? Let's take a look at number two. Number two, they gave you a piece of marble. It's calcium carbonate. They put it in a beaker with hydrochloric acid. The marble's gone after 4.5 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
They want the average rate of the reaction of hydrochloric acid in molarity per second. Okay, so what I would do is we need to start with, this is calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. You're going to produce calcium chloride and carbonic acid, which is H2O and CO2. So this is your balanced, actually not so balanced. I think you need a two here in front of HCl. Here's your reaction. You have 3.45 grams of the marble, and then they want to know this in molarity per second. So I have to start here with my calcium carbonate. So 3.45 grams of calcium carbonate, convert it to moles by dividing by the molar mass. Its molar mass is 100.09. And then your coefficient is a 1. Your coefficient here is a 2 on the HCl. So grams cancel, moles cancel. And then the volume that we have of hydrochloric acid is a liter. So this is 1 over 1.00 liters of HCl. That will give you moles of HCl per liters of HCl, which is molarity. And then they gave us the time, but they gave it to us in minutes. So what you're going to do is this would be 1 over 4.5 minutes. Convert your minutes into seconds. And then you would put this in your calculator to get the answer. So you're going to end up with a really small number. 2.55 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity per second. So rate can be thought of as a derived unit, right? Because it's a fraction unit, so can molarity. And you can just use it as a conversion factor to get to whatever you need. Okay, so let's take a look at the last set of practice problems on the next page. And I may do a couple of these for you. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look at problem number two. Propane gas combusts in camp stoves to produce heat for your dinner. How long is it going to take? 6.75 liters of carbon dioxide gas at STP. The gas combusts at this rate, grams per minute. Begin by writing the balanced chemical equation for the combustion of C3H8. So C3H8 combusts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. So this is going to be 1, 5, 3, 4. There's your balanced equation. And then we're starting with 6.75 liters of CO2. And then they want to know how long it's going to take to produce that. Okay, so take, I'm going to start all the way over here because I'm going to need the room. 6.75 liters of CO2. And then we've got at STP, so 22.4 liters per mole. Then use your coefficients. There's a three in front of CO2. And then we need to go over to the other, um, the C3H8, which has a one in front of it. And then we've got to convert that into grams so that we can actually use this rate, which is in grams per minute. And minute is what we want because that's time. So the molar mass of C3H8 will go on top. It is 44.11. And then 1.10 grams will go down here. And one minute will go on the top. So everything else will cancel leaving us with time. 
this is going to end up being 4.03 minutes. Okay, so these are all kind of like little puzzles that you have to put together to cancel out the units. Okay, this homework assignment is open. It's due 7 a.m. on Thursday. Any questions on these?